what's going on everybody it's your boy z bunny and we're back with more how guys are so in our previous episode much didn't happen we just got a lot of information i stopped it kind of early because i had a feeling that we were going on to the big final uh fight so here we are again uh welcome to the channel like i said my name is z browning call me z call me browning don't really mind i tend to upload anime content uh, Dragon Ball Legends, Honkai, Genshin, Senless. Sometimes I stream Call of Duty on the weekdays. So feel free to watch that. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and just explore what I got. Um, I'm not a like mainstream streamer. I'm just starting. I think at the moment I have, at the moment of this recording, I have 99 subscribers. Hopefully we keep growing. But yeah, um, a lot has happened we finally have we're finally getting the answers that we wanted since we first got to Pentacone. and basically just I it seems like we're going to the final boss place, but confronting the dream master could be a very dangerous affair yeah so huh? something big is going down You're saying that, Mr. Yang? um enemies are becoming friends How or allies that dream master? and allies are becoming enemies we've come a long way and, he has and hopefully this finally harmony, clears up everything that's happening not to mention the stellaron in his possession we must proceed with great caution maybe you can just stay behind this time mr yang no that won't do even if we count robin as an ally something felt off about mr sunday just now although i can't quite put my finger on I have to make sure he won't turn against us when things start to get dicey. You're still carrying the keepsake the IPC envoy gave you, right? May I borrow it for a moment? Huh. I knew it. As I suspected, this chip of Venturine gave to you is actually a miniature transmitter. If I'm right, he intends to use it to track your location or contact you when needed. As it so happens, this may actually be of some use in the current situation. Aventurine? Is he still alive? And what does he have to do with our mission to confront the Dream Master? Remember what I said earlier? Working with the IPC is a way to keep the family in check. If negotiations go south and the family show their true colors by going after the Stellaron, I'll use this transmitter to send a message to the IPC. It'll be just the opportunity the IPC ambassador was hoping for. The only question mark in all of this is Aventurine's current status. But the IPC is always listening, especially senior strategic investment department heads like him. Getting the message across shouldn't be a problem. Good luck to you, Welt. Well, you take care too. If anything goes wrong, don't worry about me. Just make sure to seal the Stellaron. Spoken like a true hero. Even if the Dream Master is innocent, the family's corruption runs deep. I won't make the same mistake Mikhail did. Let's wish him the best of luck. Don't you have something else to tell us, Gallagher? Why would you say so? Before we departed, the conductor asked us to inquire about the three nameless in Pentecone. We've already collected intel about Rosalina and Tiernan, so the only one left is Lightwork. If I'm not mistaken, we've already met him somewhere, haven't we? Not enough to say meat, but the answer is pretty obvious. After all, I've hinted at it in quite an evident way. I've been watching over you ever since I received the reply from the Astral Express, and I've seen the great effort you all put into linking different realms together across the cosmos. And now, after getting this far all in one piece, you have truly proven yourselves. Miss Simico, were you the one who repaired the Express and got it sailing through the cosmos again? Yes. And you two, young Nameless, you have very interesting life stories and extraordinary skills. Uh, I don't know much about my life story, but I do have extraordinary skills. Huh. 
you're full of energy. Please send my regards to the conductor, Pom Pom. Please let them know that their friend has fond memories of his time aboard the Express, which he reminisces on every time he has a good drink. As for the last nameless, he embarked, disembarked, and embarked again, traveling in a great circle, ending up back where he started. On his deathbed, he told me to find the Astral Express and deliver an invitation to the future nameless. He left behind a special gift, a true legacy, something that belongs only to the successors of the Trailblazers. Come with me. Now is the time to reveal it. Okay. I mean, I I don't know what to say about this. Back here again. Sometimes I feel like you're still alive, old friend. I thought they were gonna say it was him. You still got so much to say, but to he can't be bunked out already. Kept my promise. Brought the future trailblazers you've waited so long for. I don't know why you were so obsessed with that train, but I remember your last words. Don't let us down, old man. Do you think we'll see even in a dream you don't want to feel the earthquake, so I don't think this is good. Also I'm just gonna say this out loud. I really hope that Firefly joins the the, the nameless in the train at the end of all of this. Cause at this point she's one of us. There's nothing we else we can do or say. Go ahead. I know that she's a technically Let's a Stellarn hunter, Live. but I really hope that in the future she Start joins the Trollblazers. First and last nameless of Pentecone. Mikhail Char Lakewood, the watchmaker. Oh. Ta. I guess now we know who the last one was. But yeah, like I was saying, I really hope that in the end, Firefly, like, she's clearly she has a connection with the MC, the or the trailblazer, the main character. And I really hope that in the end she joins the crew. Cause like she was watching over you all this time. She's already everybody thinks that they're in a relationship and they're basically just the best duo for break teams. So I really hope that in the future she just quits the set on hunters and, and joins the showblaze. Okay, from the looks of it, something big is gonna happen now. So let's see where these, the, this leads us. I was stalling for a little bit, but let's see what happens now. Sure enough, the watchmaker is the third nameless. Even I could guess that one. The legacy he left behind was a dream bubble. I believe inside that bubble, there's something that holds meaning only for the nameless. After all, when I checked its contents, I found nothing inside. Maybe some trailblaze runes? Even more enigmatic than me. Well, let's have a look. There's nothing inside this dream bubble? Hmm. How could a dream bubble be empty? <sighs> Just as I suspected. That old man always had this strange belief in the nameless and the trailblaze. And I 
never understood where he got that confidence from. Especially since he never managed to get in touch with the Express while he was alive. I could never figure out what was going on in that old man's head. This empty dream bubble is so typical of him. He was always full of weird fantasies and incomprehensible romanticism. <laughs> this chivious old man. Well, didn't expect him to leave anything concrete behind anyway. I don't think that's the case, Gallagher. I'm sure Mikhail has left us the most precious thing of all. <laughs> don't start getting all philosophical on me, all right? Just as Mikhail believes in the nameless of the future, we unconditionally believe in the nameless of the past. How could they leave with regrets for the future when they were ready to dedicate their lives to the land they loved? There must be something contained in this dream bubble. It's just we haven't figured it out yet. You also have faith in the Watchmaker, don't you, Gallagher? Well, I'm a follower of the Enigmata. My philosophy forbids me to have faith in anything. That's why I understand what faith means in the path of Trailblaze. And I also want to know what he left behind. <laughs> I'll leave it to you guys then. <sighs> Can I borrow your pet? I need to make a trip back to Golden Hour and check something at the Dreamscape sales store. It's for Mikhail, and for the future of Penacone. Well, this is an unexpected Welcome to the twist. Reverie Hotel! How may I help you? Greetings. We're the Nameless from so the Astro say this. Express. And we'd it's like kinda to check in. disappointing being the this Astro great hero, Express? the Nameless, I... and then oh. you're, you just end... Yes. I don't know your life is just stuck in a wheelchair like in a, in a sleep that you can never wake up from. I believe my With, information is recorded in like, system. That's a little bit underwhelming. See, you would think he'll be like this great hero plans. who went on a blaze of glory. <laughs> but who am I to no, judge, right? Maybe you guys don't yeah. agree with what I'm saying. And Trailblazer. We responded to the family's invitation before he boarded the express, so he wasn't registered in your system. <clears throat> Is it possible to accommodate him as well? Oh, I see. Another one of the nameless had a similar situation. Seems like a lot of people are joining the Trailblaze these days. Since there's a precedent, it shouldn't be a problem. Just give me a second to contact your companions. I'm sorry, dear guests, but it seems I'm unable to reach the other members of the Astral Express. What do you mean by unable to reach them? My apologies. This is the first time I've encountered a situation like this. However, the system indicates that those guests are still in the dreamscape. How about this? Give me their room number, and we'll go check on them ourselves. I'm afraid that's not possible. I need to verify both of your identities before I can share any guest information. How about you just wake up someone? Let's say, uh, well... I'm sorry, but there are strict rules regarding forced awakening. It cannot be done without the proper clearance. So nothing works, huh? What's your solution then? Are you saying we sleep here? At the reception? Please be patient. We need to contact your companions in order to confirm your identities. And now it seems you need to confirm our identities before you can contact our companions. <sighs> it seems so. Oh, fudge. Look, nothing personal. But if you can't handle this, go find someone else who can. Okay? Uh, please calm down, dear guests. I do recall that Mr. Sunday, the Oak family head, personally handled this issue earlier. Oh, please wait a moment while I contact him. I don't think she's trying to give us a hard time. She really just doesn't know what to do. I have a bad feeling about this. You 
tried to contact them on the express earlier, but they didn't respond. <sighs> Something doesn't seem right. I need to leave for a moment. You can stay here with the receptionist. Sure thing. <sighs> Just don't keep me waiting forever. Oh, I regret so badly not pulling for you. Well, now that I, I just couldn't. I, mean, I was saving for Firefly because I wanted to make sure. But definitely Full Hill and Sparkle are the two that got away. Because Full Hill is a really good DPS for break teams. And running a break team with Ron May, Trailblazer, and Firefly, he was basically the last missing piece. So, uh, I just couldn't pull them. Well, I will say this: they're gonna have to figure out a way to we have festivals like that all the time. make Super Break more interesting. Because not really, but right now there's what four characters per se, three at best. Uh, like the Harmony MC, Firefly, and Blue the only Super Break characters. Wrong main. You can put her there, but it's basically because of her, Maybe on her skills. World, right. only once so they need to either give it a good anyway, setup, team uh, team setup, you heard about or the, they need to figure out what to do with it. Because right now, right, obviously I'm behind. And once what they finish with, uh, with the next story it that comes with the friend calling, which they already started it, I've been looking forward to it. what's going to happen with Super Break? Relax. Most of the Super Break the teams, the Red Legs are in Panacone, so unless they either give it another broken piece set or something else, I don't see anybody else running Super Break. of the Bloodhound family, head of security for the hotel. How may I assist you? Hello. So, uh, there's something I wanted to ask about. I've been hearing some unsettling rumors about certain incidents that might affect the Charmony Festival. Do you think there's anything to be worried about? I've traveled all the way from the Hayai Federation, and I don't want my trip to be ruined. Um... Wait, you haven't heard. I'm not sure where you heard those rumors, but they're completely baseless. I can assure you, as a representative of the Bloodhound family, that everything is going smoothly for the Charmony Festival. At present, all of the families are focused on making sure the festival starts on time. Even the Dream Master himself has arrived. So don't worry, your trip won't be in vain. Uh, <laughs> that's a relief to hear. She doesn't appear to be acting. So, it seems that even the hotel staff are out of the loop. Back already? Hasn't she returned yet? Nope. I'm starting to wonder. Sending her to contact Sunday was a good idea. Neither the staff nor the guests seem to know anything about what's happening in the dreamscaping. Wherever we go, all we see is people enjoying themselves. Definitely not a good sign. I agree. Another unusual thing is that the Oak family is supposed to be in charge of organizing the council and managing everything inside and outside the dreamscape. However, I walked around the hotel but didn't meet a single member of the Oak family on such an important day. Well, I'll be forked. If I remember correctly, the head of the Oak family is that Sunday guy, right? 
We shouldn't linger here too long. Let's go back to the express for now. Uh, not so fast. Have you ever robbed the IPC, bro? If you run away now, everyone will be chasing after you. Are you suggesting we sit here and do nothing? I wouldn't say do nothing. But let's stay put for now. Even if the family has ulterior motives, they couldn't have anticipated us showing up here. We're the surprise factor for them. They don't want to attract unwanted attention from certain outsiders, so they won't do anything reckless. See, the IPC lackeys are keeping a close eye on this hotel. If I were a family member, I'd find an official excuse and keep the surprise factors here. If we just wait here, that would be like walking into their trap. Of course, we don't need to walk into their trap. I gave a backup plan to the memo keeper. If it turns out we won't be allowed to enter the dreamscape, she'll order a drink for me in the VIP lounge at the hotel. In reality, a secret signal. That's right. Oh, a concrete object can indeed help the memo keeper establish a connection with you. But Boot Hill, if you have more backup plans in the future, I hope you'll let me know in advance. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's one of my quirks. I have too many unreliable friends. And if I reveal that I have backup plans, things can... things can go awry. That would leave all backup plans completely useless. How do we get into the VIP lounge? This is where my street smarts come into play. You're the lobby manager, right? Yes, I am. How may I assist you? We're the Nameless from the Astral Express. You know, we wanted to check in, but there's something wrong with your system. And the lady at the front desk said she would contact the manager, but now she's nowhere to be found. Now, we've been waiting here forever without any food or water. What the fork, man? Is this how the family treats its guests? <clears throat> Is this your idea of street smarts? Starting an altercation? It's called standing up for your rights. I apologize for the inconvenience. Please wait while we try to contact Mr. Sunday. I'll arrange two premium seats in the VIP lounge so you can rest there while you wait. <laughs> See? Just like that. Just, uh, just don't call yourself nameless next time. Wow, this bar is something else. Certainly worthy of the planet of festivities. Good evening, gentlemen. Hey, I have an order for a bottle of his Donna's White Oak. Can you help us find it? Has Donna's White Oak? Oh. I think there might be a misunderstanding. We don't serve that here. Oh, no way. Are you sure you're not mistaken? If someone had reserved such a beverage, I would definitely remember it. It sells for hundreds of thousands of credits per bottle, after all. Uh, I couldn't afford to cover for such an item if it were broken or lost. That's strange. What could it be that the memo keeper couldn't afford it? What should we do now? Oh, no need to rush. Well, let's grab some drinks first. Maybe I arrived too early and he hasn't come yet. Now, let's see what kind of juice malts you all have here. Huh. Well, give me a glass of Heenum Valley, 40 years. I'll have it neat, no ice. Well. That's the most expensive one on the list. You have a taste for the finer things. 
<laughs> it's on the house, anyway. What can I get for you? Anything you recommend is fine. Then I would recommend today's special, Glass Village. It's classic Soul Glad mixed with Laboon juice. It's refreshing and suits your cool demeanor. Hmm, just one minute. followers from various paths for the festival. No matter how generous the family might be, this move seems highly unusual. Unless the invitations weren't sent by them. If that's the case, it's even more intriguing that the family insists on organizing the Charmony Festival, despite the chaos. Maybe it's she pay the Harmony Pool find it beyond human understanding because it wasn't arranged by humans at all. People do stupid things out of irrational impulses. They abandon their principles when self-interest is involved. They believe in things they know they shouldn't do. Fudge. They even break their own rules. But eons don't. They stick to their determined path and never turn back. Even if they reach a dead end. You think Shipei's will is behind all this? It may not necessarily be Shipei. There's definitely some higher entity involved. I know it may sound pessimistic, but if human free will were reliable, why would we even need Galaxy Rangers? It's much simpler when you boil it down. 
down to the eons of paths. Like how Lon always follows the path of the hunter. Or how the express stays true to the trailblaze despite Akavili's disappearance. But in my opinion, Akavili's fall holds significance for the Nameless. Oh. So you're saying the Nameless now have to take responsibility for their own choices because their absolutely right leader is gone? Exactly. I believe the purpose of the journey isn't just about following a path that's always considered absolutely right. It's more about doing your best to choose the right path for yourself among countless possibilities, even with limited insight and judgment. I don't know what you've been through, but I agree that people must take responsibility for their choices, because no one else can do it for them. That's why the Galaxy Rangers need to uncover the imposter and figure out her true intentions. Just in case. I have a backup plan if the Memo Keeper doesn't show up. This is my final backup plan. I promise. You sure have a lot of cards up your sleeve. Well, going back to my old career would make things a lot easier. By the way, when you were walking around the hotel, did you happen to see any important looking guests? What's your plan? It's simple. We just grab some hostages and use them as bargaining chips with the family. Or maybe we can even take their identities. No need for that. We'll return to the Express now. Wait. Are you getting scared? <laughs> Draw your weapon. Let's make a big scene. Are you leaving, esteemed guests? Uh, would you like to cancel that as Donna's White Oak you just ordered? Huh? As Donna's White Oak? But didn't you just say? Ha <laughs> ha. Looks like you are a bit intoxicated, esteemed guests. Uh, you ordered a bottle of Asdonis White Oak just a moment ago. Hmm. Looks like your memo keeper friend has finally arrived. <sighs> oh, right. Sorry, my memory's not the best. You know, too many modifications and all. <clears throat> anyway, let me check. Well, fork me. It says Donna's White Oak, all right. And there's a note. I'll be waiting for you on the Astral Express. No mistake, that's her message to you. She knew the hotel wasn't safe, so she suggested we find another place. Well, looks like we took a detour, but now it's back to the Astral Express. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go. acquainted with the garden. Given the chaotic situation in Panacone, the Nameless are the only ones we can truly trust right now. You are the Memo Keeper. Pleased to meet you, Dan Han. I've seen you and others' memories. And as for Boot Hill, this is our first face-to-face -face meeting. I hope you enjoyed that bottle of Astana's White Oak. to the chase. Spill everything you know. That's precisely what I intend to do. But before that, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Black Swan, and I serve the Garden of Recollection as a memo keeper. As for Acheron's story, I'm sure she knows it better than I do. Greetings. Acheron. What? You garden of 
recollection, shirtbag. You betrayed me. I apologize, but she did that at my request. Due to certain reasons, I have been exiled by the family. Thankfully, this memo keeper came to my aid and helped me escape their surveillance unnoticed. To be honest, it was more like stalking than helping. And the process was far from unnoticed. But we did escape. I asked her to guide me to a place beyond the family's reach and to contact a few trustworthy individuals. Namely, all of you. Trustworthy? <laughs> Son of a nice lady. You think I'm dumb or something? How about this? I'll put a few bullet holes in your head and see what secrets spill out. Then, we can talk about trust. It doesn't have to be like that. I'm willing to answer all your questions, but not right now. If my cover hadn't been blown, we might have had more time, but at the moment, we don't have any other options. No other options? What do you mean? This is the only way I can ensure everyone's safety. I kindly request an immediate warp jump out of the Astana star system. As far as I can tell, she's not a threat, and seems to be telling the truth. I've briefly traveled with your companions and know their whereabouts, Donha. Please rest assured, your nameless companions are safe, but they need our help. As for Boot Hill, you may have guessed. I've been waiting for you. Galaxy Rangers are known for their elusive nature and limited contact with each other. This was the only way I could reach out to you. Only by doing this can I find a true Galaxy Ranger and fulfill a long-standing promise. To return his relics to their rightful owner. Someone once told me that every rainfall is like a gift from the heavens. A sign of their mercy upon the world. Raindrops are said to be the tears of the gods, shed in response to the sorrows of the world. Their constant pouring is a reminder that the gods haven't abandoned us yet. So, how long has this rain been going on for? I used to believe, just like you, that it would eventually stop. Decades passed. And in the end, such hope faded away before the rain did. Looks like the God you mentioned doesn't exist after all. Lives. However, these 
hollow phantoms in the woods my dear companions group of galaxy rangers are you watching over them watching over them no i'm guiding that shook the universe. The universe witnessed the fall of Zuro, the Lord Ravager, but it came at a price. A price so hefty that only those who were there still remember. The unwavering Determination of the hunt followers persists even in death. So someone must guide these lost souls to their life beyond. As a child, my speech, mindset, and soul reflected immaturity and innocence. As I grew into adulthood, I left behind my childlike side. I humbly request your blessings, esteemed advocate of Shime. Come to me, my kinship. I have sought their presence with us. As you wish. I have faithfully served the Alfalfa family for nearly a decade, promoting the path of the harmony to the best of my ability. However, I made a mistake yesterday. While I was preparing dinner for the family head, I accidentally dropped a prepared dish on the floor. Out of her. Laziness. I lied and claimed that everything was ready. Although the head has dismissed me as punishment, it has been tough to sleep with the guilt still gnawing at me. 
as I worry that the seeds of evilness may have taken root in my soul. So, I confess to you now to seek atonement for my sins. Do you sincerely repent and vow to change your ways? <sighs> yes. Have you examined your soul and confessed all your sins? Are you willing to accept the process of atonement? <laughs> yes. Very well. Show your dedication and goodwill to the family, and you shall be reinstated among them. Now, please, leave in peace. Oh, pray she may. And thank you. Esteemed advocate. Next, please step forward. I, I wholeheartedly confess to you. Please pardon my sins. Rest assured, I have implored their presence to be with us. As long as you are sincere, absolution will be granted. Oh, oh, great. You know, I... I arrived in Panacone as a stowaway. I sold everything to get a ticket. My house, my land, and... my two children. I see. Please, go on. My children were starving. I hope they'd have a chance at survival if they became slaves here. If, if I can strike it rich here, I'll lift them out of that situation and give them the life they deserve. But the Bloodhound family got wind of it. They're on my tail, hunting me down. I thought I could bring my kids here. It, it was all my fault. All my fault. Family is ready to forgive all sinners. I'll ask the Bloodhound family to cease their pursuit. You don't need to live in fear anymore. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll work my hardest to redeem my children and make them part of the family. Praise, praise the harmony. Please step forward. Hey, long time no see, Mr. Sunday. The most esteemed individual in Pentacony, and the next leader of the Oak family, right? I have sought their presence with us. Let us proceed. Sure, let's just get this over with. <clears throat> I have sinned. Please forgive me. I wasted half a pizza at breakfast and a bottle of soul glass. That's it. Nothing more. When we wrap this up, I've got a robo ball game to catch, you know? Do you seek to atone for your sins through good deeds? My sins? tell you something. Neither the family nor you have the right to judge me. You think nobody knows what your precious family has done? About the watchmaker? Huh? <laughs> Don't kid yourself, feather brain. Those dream chasers might be fooled by your act, but don't fool yourself. Before you start spouting off your holy verses, answer me this. Where does the power of the Oak family come from? And your power? What makes you think you can sit there all high and mighty, looking down on everyone else? Well, I've spent enough time in confession today to enter the Harmony's paradise, right? And I'll take my leave. Good luck.
luck with your election. And, uh, don't make me regret my investments in you. Stellaron does pose a grave threat. I still feel sorry for all the trouble we've caused you. <laughs> no need to worry about troubling anyone. The Charmony Festival was meant to spread joy and harmony across the cosmos. But now that we know the truth, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel it. It has always been our wish to make everyone happy, so... We'll do our best to explain everything to the Dream Master. in Pentaconi, we haven't had any contact with this Dream Master himself. I'd heard of the heads of the five major lineages, but the Dream Master is a mystery to me. The Dream Master rarely grants an audience, even for us. But, given the urgency of the situation, he's agreed to meet us in person. <laughs> Perhaps he'll be the first guest to meet the Dream Master in years, Mr. Yang. Let's hope we can reach a consensus that satisfies everyone. Indeed. Let us hope so. It's about time. We'll have to get ready for the meeting. I apologize for any inconvenience caused by the urgency. Don't worry. I'll be waiting here. Oh dear, it's Mr. Sunday! Cease. Hey! At this point, this is not even a game. This is just a whole movie. Looks like but someone needs help. I'm gonna take a break. Let's go check and it stop out. right here. I really thought I was gonna take like maybe half an hour, but it's been almost an hour. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the movie. Because my God, do they have long cutscenes? I don't think I've in the last maybe three videos I've made, I've had a single fight. But the story is. Case you're reaching his its conclusion, I would I would say. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like I said, my name is C Brownie. Call me C. Call me Brownie. I tend to update all your verse games, Dragon Ball games, and just anime stuff, right? And I also stream uh, Call of Duty on the week weekdays. So feel free to check that out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. And if you made it this far. Comment down below your thoughts. And until next time, peace.